Who do you say that I am? Wouldn't it be interesting if we were to ask others that same question? What would our neighbors say if we asked them? I would expect that they would have an opinion of us based on what little they knew of us. What about our friends? They would probably describe us differently than our neighbors did, and probably differently than what the, we, if we asked the members of our own family. For many years, the people of Israel were expecting and waiting for a Messiah. They were looking for a strong man who would become king and would defeat all of their enemies and give Israel back to the Jewish people so that they could live and worship as they pleased. To them, Jesus was more of a prophet and didn't fit their expectations of the long-awaited Messiah. In today's Gospel, Jesus first asked the disciples what they hear and see around them. Then he asked the second questions. Who do you say that I am? We all have our beliefs. We can say a lot about Jesus. Son of God, Redeemer, Savior, Son of Mary, Lord, because that is what we have learned through our parents, catechists, and others. But what would we say if Jesus were here today and asked us, who do you say that I am? We all know the right answer to today's gospel, but it's not about giving the right answer. It is not a test. It's asking us to look at what is in our heart and not what is in our head. We can worship God, sing songs of praise, and listen to howlings and prayers while hesitating to make a commitment to give of our time, talent, and treasure to God. It's more than what we think and what we say. The answer that we give in our words and actions, all of us being a disciple of Jesus. Let us turn the scenario around. If Jesus was standing in front of us today and we were to ask him, who do you say that I am? What might his answer be? I have been attending Mass here at Christ the Servant for a couple of months and I see many people who by their actions are showing that they have the right answer to the question that Jesus asked all of us. There are many people who have come forward to be Eucharistic ministers, cantors, ushers, or to be in the choir. Through your donations to the church and your weekly contributions, you are giving up your treasures to support the church and the school. A few weeks ago, I entered the church to find what looked like a clothesline and paper clothes hanging on the walls. Many people took these home and gave the request of $10 for each. I also see donations of over 400 pounds of food each week to help feed the hungry. I'm excited to now be a member of your parish. In the early church, the diaconate was established to service the widows and the poor who were being ignored. In our training, we were frequently told that our main responsibility as a deacon was to serve the needs of the people of the parish in which we were assigned. I see in Christ the Servant a parish that is greatly involved in service to the people around us and are in those who are in need of our help. Someday, we will all stand before God. How do you think he will answer our, who do you say I am?